chemotherapy strategies for metastatic pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma. Pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma, otherwise known as PDAC, is usually diagnosed at an advanced stage, leading to an extremely poor prognosis due to non-specific symptoms. Cytotoxic chemotherapy is the cornerstone of treatment for advanced or metastatic cases. Chemotherapy agents with different mechanisms of action are used to treat metastatic PDAC. Molecularly targeted therapies and immunotherapies may also benefit select patients. For years, gemcitabine was the standard first-line treatment. Recent advancements in combination chemotherapy have enhanced survival across all disease stages. Current first-line therapies include fulfirinox, gemcitabine plus nanoparticle albumin-bound paclitaxel or nabpaclitaxel, and nalirifox, validated by the PRODIGE-4, EMPACT, and NAPALI-3 trials. The PRODIGE-4 trial in untreated metastatic PDAC patients compared fulfirinox with gemcitabine. Fulfirinox demonstrated improved overall survival establishing it as a standard for fit patients despite higher toxicity levels. Side effects included hematological toxicities, diarrhea and fatigue. Management strategies such as dose adjustments and supportive care can mitigate these effects. The EMPAC trial assessed the combination of gemcitabine and nabpaclitaxel against gemcitabine alone, resulting in improved overall survival. This led to the approval of gemcitabine plus nabpaclitaxel as a first-line option. While this combination resulted in notable neutropenia and thrombocytopenia, a modified bi-weekly regimen reduced side effects while maintaining efficacy. The NAPALI-3 trial in previously untreated patients evaluated nalirifox, which pairs liposomal irinotecan with 5-fluorouracil or 5-FU leucovorin and oxaliplatin versus gemcitabine plus nabpaclitaxel. Liposomal encapsulation of irinotecan allows for slower clearance and enhanced tumour accumulation, reducing traditional irinotecan side effects. Nalirifox showed significant improvements in overall survival compared to gemcitabine plus nabpaclitaxel. Although more gastrointestinal side effects were observed with nalirifox, these can be managed with dose modifications without adversely affecting efficacy. Patients who respond or have stable disease after four to six months of first-line chemotherapy may be eligible for maintenance therapy with capecitabine or gemcitabine-based treatments. Those with germline BRCA1 or BRCA2 mutations may receive PARP inhibitors like Olaparib. Second-line treatment choices depend on prior therapies. After fluoropyrimidine treatment, options include gemcitabine-based therapies. For those who previously received gemcitabine, options include liposomal irinotecan plus 5-FU and leucovorin or other fluoropyrimidine-based regimens such as Folfox and Folfirinox. Targeted therapies are considered when molecular alterations are identified. The pivotal NAPALI-1 trial showed that liposomal irinotecan with 5-FU and leucovorin improved survival in patients progressing on gemcitabine-based therapies, leading to its approval as a second-line treatment. Common side effects included diarrhea, vomiting and neutropenia, but these were managed with dose adjustments while maintaining efficacy. Additionally, trials like CONCO-003 and Pancreox investigated oxaliplatin combinations, yielding conflicting survival outcomes. Choosing a treatment depends on various factors, including patient performance status and comorbidities. For those unsuitable for systemic therapy, palliative care focuses on pain management and nutritional support. Although newer treatment regimens have improved survival rates, ongoing efforts in risk assessment and early detection remain essential.